and in the meantime that you can accuse people of being fornicators, Fulan Ahir, Fulan is a drunkard, Fulan is a fornicator, Fulan is such and such. It's been a year and we're still waiting for evidence for that. That you're going to call another Muslim a fornicator or a drunkard, we're waiting for evidence for that. And what's the asal anyway with regard to a Muslim who commits a sin? Is it not to conceal? Not that you take it to the member. Can you imagine me coming on the microphone now and saying, Fulan, the son of Fulan, who lives on such and such a street, he's a fornicator, by the way. And if you were to open up his internet, he's watching pornography. And what's the asal anyway with regard to a Muslim who commits a sin? Is it not to conceal? Not that you take it to the member. Can you imagine me coming on the microphone now and saying, Fulan, the son of Fulan, who lives on such and such a street, he's a fornicator, by the way. And if you were to open up his internet, he's watching pornography. And what's the asal anyway with regard to a Muslim who commits a sin? Is it not to conceal? Not that you take it to the member. Can you imagine me coming on the microphone now and saying, Fulan, the son of Fulan, who lives on such and such a street, he's a fornicator, by the way. And if you were to open up his internet, he's watching pornography. Imagine any of us. What kind of a corner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do that in public? In front of all of the people highlighting the sins of others and naming them by name. Imagine any of us. What kind of a corner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do that in public? In front of all of the people highlighting the sins of others and naming them by name. Imagine any of us. What kind of a corner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do that in public? In front of all of the people highlighting the sins of others and naming them by name. And then when you are asked to bring the four witnesses, that is a shari'i requirement. A year goes by and you can't. Over a year. And then when you are asked to bring the four witnesses, that is a shari'i requirement. A year goes by and you can't. Over a year. And then when you are asked to bring the four witnesses, that is a shari'i requirement. A year goes by and you can't. Over a year. And in the meantime that you can accuse people of being fornicators, Fulan Ahir, Fulan is a drunkard, Fulan is a fornicator, Fulan is such and such. It's been a year and we're still waiting for evidence for that. That you're going to call another Muslim a fornicator or a drunkard, we're waiting for evidence for that. And what's the asal anyway with regard to a Muslim who commits a sin? Is it not to conceal? Not that you take it to the member. Can you imagine me coming on the microphone now and saying, Fulan, the son of Fulan, who lives on such and such a street, he's a fornicator, by the way. And if you were to open up his internet, he's watching pornography. And what's the asal anyway with regard to a Muslim who commits a sin? Is it not to conceal? Not that you take it to the member. Can you imagine me coming on the microphone now and saying, Fulan, the son of Fulan, who lives on such and such a street, he's a fornicator, by the way. And if you were to open up his internet, he's watching pornography. And what's the asal anyway with regard to a Muslim who commits a sin? Is it not to conceal? Not that you take it to the member. Can you imagine me coming on the microphone now and saying, Fulan, the son of Fulan, who lives on such and such a street, he's a fornicator, by the way. And if you were to open up his internet, he's watching pornography. Imagine any of us. What kind of a corner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do that in public? In front of all of the people highlighting the sins of others and naming them by name. Imagine any of us. What kind of a corner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do that in public, in front of all of the people highlighting the sins of others and naming them by name. Imagine any of us, what kind
kind of a corner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do that in public in front of all of the people highlighting the sins of others and naming them by name and then when you are asked to bring the four witnesses that is a shari'i requirement a year goes by and you can't over a year and then when you are asked to bring the four witnesses that is a shari'i requirement a year goes by and you can't over a year and then when you are asked to bring the four witnesses that is a shari'i requirement a year goes by and you can't over a year and you make satr of your muslim brother you don't advertise his sins you don't accuse him so even if he committed sin even if it is as severe as zina even if he committed fornication then we go we don't go and advertise to the dunya that this muslim is a fornicator and you make satr of your muslim brother you don't advertise his sins you don't accuse him so even if he committed sin even if it is as severe as zina even if he committed fornication then we go we don't go and advertise to the dunya that this muslim is a fornicator and you make satr of your muslim brother you don't advertise his sins you don't accuse him so even if he committed sin even if it is as severe as zina even if he committed fornication then we go we don't go and advertise to the dunya that this muslim is a fornicator because he's trying to hide his fornication so what is upon the one who knows that he committed such a sin he advises him to make tauba and return to allah with nadam with regret and sorrow for what he has committed and to seek forgiveness from allah and to hide that which he has committed and not to make that public to the people and to resolve never to return back to the sin we are not barakallahu fikum like those kuffar that when a person tries to hide his fault then they try to capture it with photography or with a secret recording or that they advertise it through twitter then they try to capture it with photography or with a secret recording or that they advertise it through twitter then they try to capture it with photography or with a secret recording or that they advertise it through twitter or on the newspapers on the front pages to advertise the sin of another who tries to hide it is in itself a kabira it is a major sin because it is from making apparent fahsha and lewdness and it is to of course spread namima to spread scandal and gossip about other muslims and this is forbidden and this is forbidden and this is forbidden so to spread the sins of others is not permitted if they are trying to hide their sins then you aid them in hiding it and you encourage them with tauba because when the sins that are committed in private become public and everyone's sins that are hidden become public then the society itself begins to degenerate because sins are seen as nothing anymore so we try to hide the sins and we do not make them public whether it be a person drinking whether it be a person who commits fornication or listens to music then yes we take him by his hand and we are firm with him if that is what is required but we do not advertise his sins we don't sit in majalis we don't sit in gatherings and start talking about the sins of others the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has informed us already in a hadith that whomsoever follows up the mistakes of his brother meaning the sins of his brother he makes tatabbu he follows them up follows them up so as to spread it amongst the people so he follows up the sins of his brother then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will follow him up and expose him even if he is in the depths of his own home so we try to hide the sins and we do not make them public whether it be a person drinking whether it be a person who commits fornication or listens to music then yes we take him by his hand and we are firm with him if that is what is required but we do not advertise his sins we don't sit in majalis we don't sit in gatherings and start talking about the sins of others the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has informed us already in a hadith 
that whomsoever follows up the mistakes of his brother, meaning the sins of his brother, he makes tatabbu'ah, he follows them up, follows them up, so as to spread it amongst the people. So he follows up the sins of his brother, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will follow him up and expose him even if he is in the depths of his own home. So we try to hide the sins and we do not make them public. Whether it be a person drinking, whether it be a person who commits fornication or listens to music, then yes, we take him by his hand and we are firm with him if that is what is required. But we do not advertise his sins. We don't sit in majalis. We don't sit in gatherings and start talking about the sins of others. The Prophet ﷺ has informed us already in a hadith that whomsoever follows up the mistakes of his brother, meaning the sins of his brother, he makes tatabbu'ah. He follows them up, follows them up so as to spread it amongst the people. So he follows up the sins of his brother. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will follow him up and expose him even if he is in the depths of his own home. So you wish to expose the sins of others and you wish to make public that which he is trying to hide, that which he regrets. Then you make it public. Then Allah will expose that person even in his own home. And this is from that principle and from that maxim in Islam, al-jaza'u min jinsil amal. That the recompense is in accordance to the deed. So you wished to expose others, but you yourself become exposed. So Allah does not allow his sunnah to be opposed. Allah does not allow that. The way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded is not to expose others who are trying to keep that which is between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's secret, then we hide it for them and we hope for them that they will seek Allah's forgiveness and that Allah will forgive them. So one, as Shaykh al-Fawzan mentions here, so if a person falls into a sin, then do not expose him and do not defame him in the gatherings. Rather upon you is to advise him secretly. بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ مَا أَسَّتْرِ عَلَيْهِ So you advise him in secret, that which is between you and that which is between him, alongside hiding his sins. So a person, of course, there is none of us, Barakallahu Feekum, who is free of sin. Every single one of us, as the Prophet ﷺ said, all of the children of Adam, that they sin, that they commit error. And the best of you are those who turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with tawbah. 